Before I get into the numbers, I want to take this opportunity to extend our gratitude to all Kenyans for working with the government and the ministry in complying with and adhering to all the measures that have been instituted gradually. The compliance has been, uh, uh, has been good and we do appreciate for that compliance because it is those measures that result in breaking of the transmission cycles. At the same time, while we are seeing good compliance, of course there are also errant members of our society who continue to flout some of these measures. And we have stressed overly on the dangers that those errant Kenyans may be exposing to other Kenyans and to their families. And to them too, we appeal that they adhere to the measures that have been put in place. We understand that these measures are not easy. They are difficult measures. They have created a lot of inconveniences, but that is the only way that we can be able to fight the virus by sustaining the containment of the virus. Uh, equally, I want to thank those communities that we have put a focus on in the last couple of weeks, especially the communities of Isli and Old Town Mombasa, where additional measures have been placed on those communities of restricted movement, and the focus that we have placed on testing those communities. I want to thank those communities for their cooperation and for turning out to be tested in the numbers that we have seen so that we are able to determine the level of uh, transmission of the virus within those communities. Uh, we thank them and knowing that most of them are uh, of the Muslim faith, this being the month of Ramadan, a very difficult month for Muslims, we appreciate the efforts that they have made in coming out to be tested and being able to bear with the, with the tough measures that have been put place in their localities. In the last 24 hours, we have tested 2,100 persons and we have confirmed that 781 of these are positive for coronavirus. The cases spread as follows. No, sorry, let me correct that. We have tested 2,100 cases over the last 24 hours. Out of these cases, we have 23 that have tested positive. This brings to 781 the total number of cases that have turned positive. The cases are distributed as follows. In Nairobi, 11 cases. In Mombasa, five cases. Kajiado, three cases. Kiambu, two cases. And Wajer, two cases. In Nairobi County, the 11 cases are from Embakasi, six, Kamkunji, two, Langata, two, and Starehe, one. In Mombasa, all the cases are from Mvita, five cases. In Kiambu, the cases are from Thika, and the two cases in Wajir are from Wajir East, sub-county. In Kajado, the two cases are truck drivers from Namanga border point and one from Bisil in Kajado Central. In terms of disaggregation, five are females 
and 18 are males, with ages ranging between 24 years and 85 years. Consistent with the growing number of losses we are making over the last 24 hours, we have lost three more patients to COVID-19. Of course, each loss of life and fatality is a tragedy, and we pray that Almighty God comforts the loved ones that have departed and rests their souls in peace. Thank you.